Hi everyone and welcome to another Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination video. Today we are looking at sponge sugar. Coincidentally, my nails match quite nicely today. <laughs> so we are going to be looking at how this blends onto white cardstock, um, how it compares to other pinks in the Distress range as well, and two colour combinations mixing this with um, different colours for blends that you can use on your paper craft projects. So everything I'm using today is of course linked down below as always which includes the Distress Ink and Oxide charts and labels, so things like these labels that you are able to print off at home from my website completely for free. So the first thing we always do is blend the colour onto plain white cardstock just to see what it really looks like because occasionally the label isn't always as true as we'd like it. I mean, Ranger do a fantastic job of getting it quite close, but just occasionally we get some surprises. So, Spun Sugar is the palest pink. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I say this about every colour I know, but I really do love all the colours and shades within the Distress range. So, it is what I would consider a baby pink. Very, very soft. Barely there, but beautiful. So, when we look at the label, it is really close. Really, really close. There's not a lot of difference at all. I would say, if anything, there's a slight more pink hue to the label and uh, more of a coral hue to the ink blending here. But that could always be the lighting, the card stock that I've got on, gone on to and things like that. And as always, the ink pad is darker because it's saturated with ink. But there you can see it's actually the, the uh, particular shade and tone, or rather the tone, sorry, is very similar. So if you're looking at the label, you know you're going to get it pretty accurate. Now let's just have a quick look at how this compares to other pinks in the range. So they're obviously all red. So these are our pinks all on one strip here. I've filled this in. You can fill yours in at home as well and it helps you to keep a track of which of the colours you've already got. And you can do one for your inks, one for your oxides. Um, some people like to just put an I or an O next to the ones they've got when they have them in each ink and oxide. But this is great because you can then take an overview look at all your colours um, and you can easily put them together and match them as well. So sponge sugar we can see is right at the top. I consider it the first uh, distress ink or oxide colour because it's the palest of the pinks. Um, as we come down, Quiche Flamingo is ever so slightly darker but works really nicely next to it. Obviously picked raspberry is brighter. Tattered Rose has more of an orangey coral colour to it. Um, we've got darker colours there. Saltwater Taffy isn't too different. We're actually going to be bringing this into our first colour combination, um, but it is darker and it's more in the corals as well. So you get a little bit of both ways. So I say when I say about two ways with a colour, I think a colour can either go lighter or darker within the same colour. Or an, an example of this is Keach Flamingo and then Picked Raspberry. So all the same colour, but different shades of. Or you can go um, more warmer or cooler. So for this one, you can't, haven't really got any pinks that are a lot cooler. You'd be going into purples there. Uh, but things like uh, these bottom three are, well, even bottom four are warmer colours. So they're, uh, even though saltwater taffy isn't too different in the light and dark, but it is warmer, it's more orange. Hopefully that makes sense. So there's lots of different ways of um, switching up your colours and finding different variants of them. So let's start with this next or first colour combination. So I've laid down sponge sugar. I'm then going to go in, as I said, into salt water taffy and see how these two blend together. I think this is really important. Not only which colours look nice together, but do they actually blend together? We've found throughout the series that some don't. Some are harder to blend together for whatever reason. It may be their base colours just don't work and turn muddy, but uh, we try and make it work as best we can. But you can see there, really easily, we've got um, saltwater taffy into spun sugar so quickly and easily. That is just beautiful. And then the same as you saw on the uh, colour combination chart, um, you, you're also going to go into picked raspberry really easily too. So let's give this a wipe because the next colour that I'm going to go into is not a pink. It's actually bundled sage, which is a lovely green. So I'm going to put this onto the end. 
And I just think these colours work beautifully alongside greens. Pinks and greens are really soft, really feminine, um, beautiful for delicate cards, for floral cards. So I'm going to first of all start by blending the solid colour and then I'm going to work up towards that saltwater taffy. I'm going to do a little bit of blending into the saltwater taffy here and see how that goes. Now the little bits of paper, the little bits that you can see on my cardstock there that I'm just brushing away are actually from my brush because I washed these and there were some labels on the handles and of course they disintegrated in the wash and I've got bits of paper in my bristles. These all brush away so uh, I'm not worried about that. Now I'm going to come in with my saltwater taffy, go back over my solids there a little bit and work a little bit into the green. It doesn't need a lot. It's actually blending really nicely considering they're both such different colours. So one more go over with the green. Look at that. It's just so soft and so beautiful. Um, just captured a little bit there. How pretty is that for a blend? So gorgeous, isn't it? I love that. Really, really soft and delicate. So that was our sponge sugar our saltwater taffy and our bundled sage. Now these two, both of them actually, have their own videos as well. You'll find those on the playlist which I'm going to link at the end for you so you can go and catch all the other um, colours that we've done so far. We're actually up to about 57 videos at the moment as I'm working through alphabetically. So yeah, there's lots and lots for you to see. Right, so pop that to the side. Let's now look at our next combination which is again very different. We're going to bring in some brighter colours now. So we're going to start with picked raspberry on the very end because picked raspberry will work nicely, I think, into spun sugar. Now it's worth me saying actually I don't test out these combinations before I do them with you um, unless I've done one before and I think, oh, that really works. I'm going to show that in one of my videos. Usually I just kind of guess it and then we do it together. So I'm thinking picked raspberry will work into spun sugar. It's quite a bright pink, just there. Of course, Picked Raspberry does have its own video. Uh, in fact, all of these have their own videos. We are getting to the, that point now where we've nearly done all the colours. Now, when I have finished all the colour combination videos, I am going to be coming back and doing some more Distress Ink and Oxide series. I've got another idea I can't wait to show you. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, but I, I know it's going to work. It's fine. And give you some more ideas with your oxides. Look how well that blended took me absolutely no time at all. Now I'm wiping my mat with a dry cloth just because I'm going to be going into different colours now and I just use a little piece of vellum tucked over my cardstock there. The reason I use vellum is because it's not as absorbent as cardstock. If I was to put a cardstock piece over here it could absorb some of that wet dye that's still um, on pigment that's still on there so just for now I'm going to use the vellum. It is absorbent but not as much that makes sense. Okay, so next we're going to go into Salvage Patina, which is a lovely pale, turquoise pale aqua colour. Let's just give my bristles a wipe. Now I've got a few bits of paper in here as well, and they're coming off on there. So let's just give these a good wipe. There we go. I think the, I think the paper is actually on the ink pad, and that's where it's picked it up from. Let's see if we can get a better colour blend here. There we go, more colour going down now. Right, so like I say, really pale, almost a mint colour. This one, really lovely. This actually would make a beautiful contemporary festive blend. And look at this, this has just blended itself really quickly. It's taken no time at all. I will just go back with the sponge sugar to go over there we're almost getting a little bit of a purple coming out or a lilac between the two let's go lay down some peacock feathers at the end much darker turquoise or green of course but again this is a color that i know works beautifully into the salvage patina Now I don't want too much of the peacock feathers because it is so much darker so I'm going to come back and fill in here with salvage patina and work that up into the peacock feathers. 
So almost sort of pushing it towards the end rather than dragging the peacock feathers in this way. Now I love that oxides will kind of overlay each other a little bit, not always mix. You can get them sort of just laying over and filling in colour there. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I love that blend. That is possibly one of my favourite blends that we've created in this series. I've got a few of those strays there, but isn't that just gorgeous? So let's take a look at that first one again. So that is sponge sugar in two different combinations. What a beautiful colour and so easy to, to kind of dismiss because it's such a pale colour, but it's stunning. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Don't forget, of course, to check out the playlist with all the other colours so far just here. Um, you can shop anything Distress Ink and Oxide at Craft Stash just here. And, of course, I'd love it if you could drop me a like, thumbs up, a subscribe just here. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.